All right, tell me if you ever had this situation happen. So you're creating a website and you are creating, let's say a marketing site, you are just about done with it. And then you find out the requirements change and you actually need to add in a dashboard for people to log in, make changes, things like that. So your first instinct would might be to grab a library off the shelf add in auth, I'll add it all into your existing application. But I would argue that it probably would be better to create a separate application for your dashboard because it could keep growing and then leave the marketing site as small as possible. So that way it loads very, very quickly. It has great SEO and things like that. So that's where I think mono repos can come in and help. And what that does is it allows you to create multiple applications and share it in, in the same repository, but you can also share tests, you can share packages and libraries. I really like this article, it's by Pablo Vega. It talks about Vue.js building a basic mono repo project. Now in this app, I'm gonna use Vue, but if you are interested in React or Angular, keep watching because this is kind of the same philosophy in all these different frameworks and libraries. And I like this definition. So if you need to maintain a huge platform consisting of a lot of functional areas, you might want to think about the architecture. You want to do two main things. And one is separate concerns and avoid, avoid code dedupes. I mean, the first thing that you definitely want to do is want to make sure that you don't have the same exact code in multiple different places because that's going to be hard to maintain. Now in this article, they use uh, NPM, Node.js, but NPM to do this mono repo support. There's a lot of different mono repos out there. Uh, some of the more popular ones are like learn yarn workspaces, turbo repo. So I'm going to show you, I created an NX workspace with two of you apps. I shared a library in between them and then we're going to host it on AWS amplify hosting. It supports this mono repo architecture, which I find that makes it much easier to deploy and you can have multiple different websites in just one repo. So if you don't know NX, it's what they call a smart mono repos, fast CI. It's hundred percent free to use. It's open source. You can download it uh, and you just run this NPX create NX workspace. They do have paid features if you want to do special caching or use NX uh, more like in an enterprise level. So they do have that but I wanted to try out this NX view. So I kind of just followed this guide right here. I ran this NPX create NX workspace that created this brand new workspace. And then I used this, uh, this command to generate a new view app. So you can have multiple apps in here and it actually allows you to do Nuxt as well if you're a Nuxt fan. And of course you can do Re React or Angular and you can have multiple, you have a React and Angular app in one workspace if you wanted. And then you can create a library too. And so what I did is here, uh, here is the app that I created. And you can see here, I have, I have a source, I have an app one and an app two. I made them very generic named, but these are essentially like Vite apps. And inside each one of them, I have an app.view file. One says a welcome app one and it has this shared component, which I'll talk about in a moment. moment. And then app.two, which is just another app that says uh, app two doesn't have too much. Now I created this new lives folder and you can generate this pretty simply. So I ran this command, it's NX view library shared. And this created this new shared library that I wanted to use. And then inside the shared library folder. So it creates all these folders for you and take a look. I have this lives shared source. And then I create this shared comp dot view. And then I have this index.ts file which all it does is it exports it out. If you ever want to know how this works, you can go into the TS config base file and essentially it creates all these paths for you. And so it's, it's pointing to this index file that has the export and it's called my view mono repo app shared. And if I go back into my app view, I'm just importing it in from there and then I can use it inside my components. So it's fairly straightforward. And if I want to run both these apps at the same time, there's a command NX run many, and I can just tell it which, uh, how both the apps so they can run at the same time. You can also run NX serve if you want to run one app. And so since they are both running, you can see here, here's the first one, welcome app two, and here's the shared one. So they have different ports. One's running in 4201 and one's running in 4200. Before this video, I went ahead and created this repo and I pushed it up to GitHub. So I should be able to go ahead and host it. So let me show you how I can host this site. I'm gonna go into my AWS console and you can get a AWS, you can sign up for AWS for free. I'll put a link in the description. They have a pretty hefty free tier plan. And then I'm going to search for AWS Amplify. 
I'm gonna choose it. We are on this page here now. This lists some apps I've created in the past. If you're brand new, you may see something that says get started. You can click that get started and then get started for hosting. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna click new app here and then click host web app. And then this is gonna give me a, an option to choose my version control system. And since I'm using Git, I'm gonna choose GitHub. And then it's going to, if you've never done this before, it'll connect to your GitHub and it'll ask you for some permissions. I already did that beforehand. So all I'll need to do is just select the repository from this dropdown. And then there's this little checkbox at the bottom that says connecting a monorepo app, pick a folder. I'll click that. And what this is asking is to put in the folder structure of where your monorepo uh, source of the app is. So we know that we have two apps, app one and app two, and they're both in the apps folder. So we'll just put in apps slash app one. We'll just start with app one for now. And then it gives us some build settings here and it auto detected it, but since it is NX, we have to do a couple of other changes. First, where it says base directory here, I'm just gonna remove this because it actually is going to be in the disk slash app slash app one folder. This is a YAML file, by the way. And with the newer versions of NX, it uses Node 18. So this isn't gonna work because it defaults to an earlier version of Node. But what we can do is add in NVM use 18. And then we're going to run this command called mpx dash dash yes, nypm install. And this will just make sure that everything is installed correctly in the repository. And then we can remove this npm ci right here. And if we did this all correctly, it should work. So I'm gonna click save. You can also make some other edits in here if you wanted to do other things, but this is essentially the build file. I'm gonna click next, and I'm gonna click save and deploy. And what this is gonna do in the back background is it's going to build and deploy everything for us. You may notice down here, if we go into environmental variables, it automatically created these for us. This is really important, but this is the Amplify Monorepo app root. That's that app slash app one folder that we already added in. If you need to go in later, you can edit these variables manually, but this has to be there for it to know where to go to, to install everything and get it up and running. So this will just take a few moments. All right, it finished. And what this is saying is that it took the main branch and it deployed it and it gives us this URL. We can also add a custom domain if we wanted to, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use this one. And cool, so here it is. And you can see the view app is running. It's using the shared data from that shared component. So now we have the first app up and running. So to get the next one up and running, you guessed it, we can do new app, host web app. We'll do GitHub again. And this time we'll choose the other, uh, we'll choose the same repository, but we'll choose that other app. So in the select repository dropdown, we'll choose the same shared repo. And it's gonna tell you it's already connected, but that's fine. We can have multiple apps here. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna leave the same branch. So every time you press the main, it'll deploy both websites. We could change this if we wanted to create a different branch. I'm connecting a monorepo, enter the, to the root. So this will be, if we come back over here, we have this apps folder, we have app two. So we'll use app slash, this should be apps slash app two. We'll click next. And then once again, we'll make the same changes again. So. We'll fix this disk folder. And then for this npm ci command, I'm going to put in that nvm use 18 and into this YAML file. And I'll do npx dash dash yes, nypm install. And we'll save it. And I'll click next. And then we'll click save and deploy. And we'll just give this a moment to deploy. Okay, it's all green here, everything was deployed. And by the way, if you're following along and something didn't work, you'll see a big red, red X here. You can always click on it and then kind of look at what happened. It'll show you all the commands that ran and it'll tell you what failed or didn't fail. But everything looks good. And if I click on the URL, so here's app two, looks good. Here's app one, they are both in there. And you definitely could do all sorts of things here, add, a shared back end. I think I'm gonna leave it like this for the end of the video. 
If you guys like these types of videos, leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. And I'll leave a link if you want to start with Amplify hosting today. Thanks.